Can you guess these Gen X TV theme songs? Grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's go back. Welcome back to another episode of Gen X Unfiltered, the podcast. What's up, everybody? Welcome back, everybody. Steve, Eric, good to see you again. Always a pleasure. Eric in the house. Happy to see Steve <laughs> and Kelly here, too. <laughs> we are back with another fun little... We realize we like the little like games, and it's like you guys at home listening or watching can play along as well. That's right. But this time we have Gen X-ish... Well, mostly Gen X. Um, oh, it's all Gen X, yeah. Oh, TV theme songs, and Eric and I are going to see if we can guess them. We're going to turn the tables. Last time we did one of these, I was the quiz master. Steve and Kelly were the guessers. That's right. Yeah. Now, I got to guess. No, we did. Right. And we Steve d- is our quiz master. That's right. I picked out five. We, oh, sorry. Go no, ahead. No, sorry. I was just going to say, before we get into I was just going to say, we read the comments last time, and somebody requested that we play the clip more than once, so that you guys at home can kind of like think about it and guess, so we will do that. Okay, yeah. I put about 10 seconds, too. Oh, so yours are long. I made a little long. Yeah, because okay. I had a little more to play with with theme songs. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right, Steve. So give us the criteria. Give us the rules. Tell us how it's going to go. Well, I'm going to play. A, I'll play a snippet of a TV theme song. I did five so, five shows for each decade. So I've got five from the '70s, five from the '80s, five from the '90s. I picked like big show. I mean, there's so many of them. Yeah. So I picked big shows. I try to cut out any reference to it because a lot of them have lyrics. Right. So I try to cut out any reference to like the actual show title okay <laughs> and also to the fact that we are gen x but we were not even born in the 60s so we just started at 70s no yeah i just started, i figured 70s is kind of like because yeah. even if even if you're born in 65 you true. probably remember shows from the 70s more than the yeah 60s. True. exactly yeah. So. and we've leveled up for those of you watching we don't have little tiny little sticky post-it notes i got whiteboards Woo. whoa shout out to dollarama whiteboard upgrade dollarama $3. better than my, my sticky notes from last time that's right yeah, and now you guys can see what we write too to make sure there's no cheater cheater pumpkin eaters now i'm hopefully gonna win this time yeah i, I, I don't know myself. i think you guys are gonna do i think i don't know we'll see I think you guys do do well. But, are you uh, gonna start like? Are you just doing the prize it is a new car, right? Like I'm ready to win a new car here. Yeah, me too. Okay. Are you gonna start like? Are you gonna mix them all up? No, no. I just do. I'll just okay. stick, I'll just do a generation at a time. All I right. figured that'd be easier rather than all trying right. to mix so, it all around. So at least it help narrow it down a little bit for you guys. All right. So everybody at home, get ready to do your guesses. That's right. Get your pencils. Get your papers. Get your whatever you need. Notepads. And who do you think's gonna win, me or Eric? Pick me. Pick me. Uh, I, after the last <laughs> quiz, <laughs> I think you're easy picking. I got I'm so sorry. <laughs> I got so roasted in the comments, rightfully so. But yeah, I was terrible at Who that. Who is the piano guy? Um, oh, Phil no. Collins. Phil Collins, Survivor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. In fairness, Survivor was a good guess. Okay. I can see where it was coming from, but yeah. The funny thing is, now every day I've heard Sledgehammer like a thousand times on the radio <laughs> in the last like week or so since we shot that thing. I know. I keep hearing it. I'm like, it makes me laugh every time. All right, <laughs> I got my pen out. Let's do this. Yeah, I got my pencil. I am feeling competitive. <laughs> Give me something to write on, man. <laughs> I'm feeling competitive, Eric. You are going down, downtown. <laughs> hey, <laughs> sorry. That's my bad DLR <laughs> impression. DLR. David Lee Roth. Oh. Tom and Dave. Steve was just dropping some uh, Van Halen yeah. lyrics there. She just went... Yeah. Right exactly. Yeah. That's why I'm confident I'm going to win this thing. <laughs> Shut up. gets nothing. But, <laughs> right. Eric, don't underestimate. I am a TV person. Give me mo- movies. Nope. Don't know anything it's about true. movies. TV. I know a lot about TV. It's tr- Any new show recommendations, ask Kelly. She's all over it. That's, That's true. Right. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. Let's get down to business here. Okay. Are you guys ready to rock? Yes. I, need to, I should have put some like little intro music. Oh, you should have. Next time. See, every time we That's do this, right. we think Just it's play Sledgehammer as intro music. <laughs> 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 All right. All right, here we go. Ready? Okay, go yeah. ahead. So we're going, like I said, we're starting off the 70s. I got five shows where this is show number one. Everybody at home, get your pencils ready. Get your ears open. Ready. Here we go. Ready? Yep. Come and knock on our door. Oh, I know this. I know this. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting for you. Not even a hesitation here for these guys right, right, right down, right already. All right. I think you started off easy for us. Well, I said, I mean, these are big shows. I didn't, I didn't oh, yeah. try to get too deep in the weeds here. I, I know, but it, it would have been fun to really suck. I used to love this show when I was a kid. All right, ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Three's company, easy. Uh, Kelly's got it wrong. There's an extra word on there. Yeah, there's no asterisk <laughs> with easy. That's not right at all. What are you talking about? I'm saying the question, the show was easy. Oh, I was trying to make yeah. you wrong. I also said Three's Company. What did so you think right. I was they trying to write? They both Three's Company. Sorry? What did you think I was trying to write? Where should I give you a hard time because you wrote oh. like an extra word? 
Okay. I used to love Three's Company too. It was a great show. I that like... was the one thing. What listening to these theme songs and stuff. Like, oh man, I haven't watched them yeah. in years. <laughs> the concept of the show would never really fly today, but no, back I, in the, it was hilarious. Back I in the like day. how Eric held his board landscape. Side note. Um, Three's Company. I mean, I watched it, but not like often. It's okay. You can put it here. It's fine. Everyone, I love Three's Company. Jack Tripper. Yeah, he was hilarious. Yeah, I didn't like the old neighbor guy. He was annoying. Which one, Mr. Roper, or Mr. Furley? Oof. I mean, they both. The, ro- did the Ropers got a spin off show. They didn't did, they? the Ropers, yeah. yeah. The Three's Company was too olden days for me. Too oh, olden days? Oh, my God. That's no, great. It was hilarious. I always wanted to go to the Regal Beagle. Wasn't that the bar they went to? Yeah, the know. Regal Beagle. <laughs> I got to open one in real life. Yeah. Oh. I, their, their opening was cheesy. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, it was like slapsticky and stuff like that. Yeah. Was it actually in the 70s? I thought it was 80s. No, it was 70s, yeah. Oh. Yeah, they had a revolving door of blondes for a while, too, after Suzanne Summers left. That's right. Yeah. And, uh, R.I.P. Didn't she die? She did. She not, did. Yeah. yeah, she did. Yeah, like not like back. No, no, no. no, but no like, that's not why she left the show. No, <laughs> no, no. A couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah it was. It was somewhat did she recent. actually die? Yeah, yeah. yeah she yeah. passed away a couple of years ago. I know yeah. she was I'm sick. trying to think if it was before or after COVID. Uh, maybe it was during. Maybe during. I, it, it was a couple of years ago though. Yeah. Kay. All right. Can we go to the next? All one? right. We're gonna go to number. I'm feeling amped. All right. All right. You're. You don't get cocky. Yeah, let's see. Ready? Here we go. You guys at home, get those ears ready. Here we go. Sound number three for the 70s TV theme. Number two. Number two, sorry. Jeez. Number eight. Oh, I know this now. Did you see the look of... I thought I had you, no, but... No, wait. I don't know the name of it, though. Uh-oh. You want to hear it again? Yeah. I can't wait to see if she writes. Right, Shut here up. Go. I know it. I'll play it again for you. Up a bit. Do cheat. Don't look at my board. I'm not looking at your board. 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 Kelly's writing furiously here. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Seems like there's a lot of writing going on here. Maybe I'm drawing pictures. This isn't Jeopardy. Yeah. There should be some sort of timeline here. Okay. Who I don't, is? I don't, I don't know. All right. Ready? On show. three, two, one. <laughs> Reveal your answers. <laughs> What did, what did Kelly write? <laughs> Eric is happy to show with a guy in leather jacket. The show with a guy in the leather jacket. It was the guy with the, the Fonz. Yeah, Fonzie. that guy. The Fonz. Arthur Fonzarelli. The, yeah. Do I get it right? Henry. Well, no, you get it no, wrong because you, you didn't get the show. You yeah. do have the right show. You do have Happy Days. But you need the title. You need the title. I was thinking. Ooh, I, sorry for your ears, people. I. <clears throat> I was thinking it was like. Like happy something, but I was thinking happy hour, but I knew it wasn't happy hour. I thought maybe because I cut it off right before happy day, so I, I thought maybe. It was, uh, <laughs> but I never... as soon as I saw you writing like uh, a sentence, I'm like, she's got this. Well, that's like she's, she's writing. There's a lot I of writing going on yeah. for two words. Never watch that show. Like I what? know of the show. Are you show, serious? No. This show is on like reruns it. after school all the time. No, yeah. I, it was too olden days for me, wasn't it? In, like the fifties. Well, it was, set it was in the supposed 50s. to be in the fifties, but it was in the seventies. Oh. Yeah, yeah. I think it should ran to like the early eighties. It went on for a long time. Yeah, I was actually listening to it. Henry Winkler on a podcast recently. It was actually really interesting. I'm talking about all that stuff. I'm trying to what the mm. hell podcast he was on. I don't know. Is that one with um, the guy from Will and Grace and Will Arnett and uh, Jason Bateman? Oh, I remember listening to that one. Smart, Smartless or something like that? Smartless? It pops yeah. up when I go to hmm. podcasts on my phone on my car. What Will just, and Grace guy? Uh, Sean something or other, his real name? Oh, not Will? No, 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 not Will. What was his name in the show? Jack? Jack. Was that it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Funny. Him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyways, Henry Winkler was on there. Apparently, he's the nicest guy in Hollywood, they say. Really? Yeah. Apparently, well, he's like super, super I'm nice I'm really guy. sorry I didn't get your show. You got his character, though. Yeah. Okay, you, now kind of. You said guy in leather jacket. Well, so I get like a half point at least. Okay, so I got half point. So okay. Steve's two, the quiz master, so we'll let him I should be writing this down. Yeah, you should. Oh, look, you have a good... How ironic. I'll get a pen here quick. Sorry, folks. Because I want it. Like, now I'm, like, in it to win it. I need to know the actual score. Were you practicing? No. Oh. Eh, of course, this pen's not working. There we go. There's another pen there. <laughs> Steve just getting his scoreboard. We need... We sh- I should have got the third whiteboard for the scoreboard. We need one more. But I was like... One more whiteboard. Damn. That's right. All, All right. right. Let's hope I hit the right button. Here we go. Ready for number three? Are you three? nervous? That's I'm ready. I'm just worrying I'm going to mix up the board at some well, point. Well, you probably know them, so it's Well, fine. not that, but which button I've hit. Okay. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yeah, ready. Sound number three from the 70s. Well, we're moving on now. We're moving on up to the side. To a deluxe apartment in the sky. All right. They're both writing it down. 
Okay. Did you like look at my board? I was, I've never. I even wasn't even looked. holding it up right. I never. Okay. I never even looked. Did you guys recognize that? Eric might recognize that. I don't that know. One. I, don't, cool. I love that theme song. Really it's amazing. It's a great theme song. Move it on up. I don't think I've <laughs> even remotely closed, and I don't know the name of the show. Okay. A reveal. Oh, I'm ready. Nervous. One, three, two, one. Answers. Jefferson. Oh. Jefferson. <laughs> never mind. I'm not sure. Kelly's got. No, because <laughs> wasn't there a show that was. Like... Oh, you're thinking of 227. <laughs> See? Oh, the apartment, the apartment number show. show. <laughs> 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 like... no. Apartment number show. I didn't know the yeah, number. Cause, cause he, uh, what's his name? He was on that as well. He was on that okay, one too. So uh, again, Sean Helmsley, right? Yeah. Like, I'm not completely dumb or clueless. I just mix it up in my brain. That's what happens when you have ADD. So there's a point for Eric. Damn it. Do I even get a half for that one? Uh, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. You didn't even get the lead. You had 227. It's still wrong. But Wait yeah. till I, forgot, we... I actually forgot about that show. Wait till yeah. we get to the 90s. Because that's probably when Eric was all like, I'm not watching TV. <laughs> Did I have that phase? Yeah. Okay, apparently I had the phase. <laughs> really? Right. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is number Come on. four from the 70s. I want to get right? out of the 70s. We're going to do it. Give us any chance. We'll oh, I know this song. My grandma used to watch this show. <laughs> and they're like, at the end. I know this. Oh, Kelly knows the song, but does she know the show title? Oh my god. My, my spelling is probably horrible for my this. Grandma used to watch the. But okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. Thanks, Grandma. I never right, liked Kelly's this just... show. Now I'm scared I'm wrong. Remember in Wayne's World and reenacted it? Oh, yeah. They're no, running around. Yeah. You guys make me feel so self conscious about my answer after I write it. Uh, no, no. It's a quiz. All this right. is why I sucked at quizzes. Ready? Three, two, one. Reveal your answers. Le oh, no. It's not right. Laverne and Shirley. Eric, Laverne and Shirley. Correct, sir. Oh, yes. yes. Are you freaking kidding me? I really I thought I had this one. Well, okay, reveal your answer what already. Did, what do you have? What did you say? <laughs> like, I really thought I had this one. Oh, Mary Tyler Moore. Oh. Oh. It was similar sounding theme yeah, song. But, but no, Mary Tyler Moore is like, she's gonna make it after all. <laughs> oh, my God. I, I was I so almost, confident. I, actually almost, I almost downloaded that. Um, oh, my God. I almost added that song to the mix, but it was like, uh. <laughs> but I really, tr like, I really thought that I had that. Oh, man. And Laverne and Shirley, I've never seen in my whole entire life. Really? I thought your grandma watched it. No, she watched Mary Tyler Moore. Oh, sorry. Because <laughs> <laughs> at the end, when they threw the berets, is that, did you know I didn't have it? Oh, no, that's that? definitely, no, no, that's, no, but I was thinking, like, because I know they do all the bunch of stuff where they're, like, in the opening, they're, like, running around on bikes and. They do some silly bits. Yeah. yeah no, but, crazy you're girls talking, in the you're city. Mary Tyler Moore with yeah. a hat in the air. Yeah. I can also say I never watched this show. I just know the theme. How do you know it? Laverne and Fun fact, the furniture really is a spin-off from Happy Days. That's right. Uh, well, I never watched Happy Days, so that's my problem. Come on. <laughs> See? Was... You were screwed up for the last one. If that's you watched right. Happy Days, you'd know Laverne and Shirley. But Mary Tyler Moore was a good guess, right? It was kind of like the like Survivor, not Survivor guess. It's close, I guess. Uh, I... Can we get an update on the score? No. We'll, let, we'll, we'll do a recap after we finish the <laughs> okay, seven. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Fine. I'm sorry, Quizmaster. Okay. I like to come from behind. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Here we go. This is... Song number five Finally. for the seventies. This We're is the last one from the seventies for this decade. God. Okay, here we go. Let's go. I'm curious to see if you guys will, will oh, see. No. One, two, three, four. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. I've never heard this in my life. <laughs> Literally, never heard this. In no, my I've life. heard that theme song. This is I. As a kid, I love this show. I don't know why. I remember as a kid, I like love this show. I think it had a. Um, we'll do another one, one more time. Could kill you a second go. Because the theme song also had like a voiceover, over top, right? Like it a had, monologue. Like, talking some, yeah. yeah, I think it would talk about the episode. Yeah. I'm just guessing. Like I've literally never heard that. All right, Kelly's got something being added okay. to the board. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Reveal. Eric has oh soap. Oh God. Kelly has the robot it show. It sounded like a robot. <laughs> like, I thought it was one of those beep, ones. Beep, 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 beep. Eric is correct. It is Damn soap. It. Like, I've never heard. I thought it was like, okay, it's got to be a show with a robot or something. No. It this had, had a it young Jim J. Bullock, right? No. no. Uh, Billy Crystal. Billy Crystal, that was it. Yeah, they had. A, they didn't have a robot. They did have a ventriloquist doll, though. And it had the, oh um, the guy from um, Caddyshack. Um, Ted Knight? Ted Knight. This no? He, no, it was, no, it wasn't him. It was... Um, I forget the old guy's name now. The gray hair. I'm confusing shows. 
I got the theme song right, but yeah, no, it's definitely Sopia. Yeah. It was it had like uh, Mona from Who's the Boss was on it. Oh, Catherine the world's sexiest grandma. Yeah. I like do not like the seventies at all. All right, well we left the seventies. We're the officially done. And bad. all right, so the score right now, Kelly has one point five. <laughs> I give you half point. You're welcome. <laughs> He's <laughs> generous. Eric has five for five. Whoa! Hey, <laughs> fine. I still have a chance. Like, I hey, just, th there's always a chance. I'm That's just right. terrible. Like, okay, Mary Tyler Moore, the Laverne and Shirley. I was like, no, it's Mary Mary Tyler Moore. I was convinced, and that last one, I'd never heard that song ever in my life. I love the robot, <laughs> the <laughs> robot show. I was just curious what it's, show you were thinking of for the it robot sounded, show. Oh, I don't know. Like, no, what was that show? I don't want to say it in Star case it's Wars? on here. That show um, with the kid and the robot. Or th oh. Um, but I didn't think it was the uh, 70s. No, the uh, Vicky, the yeah. robot. Uh, oh, small wonder. Sm yeah. yeah but, uh, she, she, was a, she was a robot. <laughs> I just keep eating the microphone. Sorry. I got to put it away. I forgot about yeah. Please don't eat the mic. I don't know why I feel like these yet. I have to be so close. Okay. I, forgot I actually forgot about small wonder. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, can you still hear me okay if this is far away? I think so. Oh, yeah, okay. you can hear you fine, yeah. yeah. I don't need to be eating the mic? No, no, you can have a bit of space there. You're good. Okay. All right, are you guys ready to go to the next decade? I'm yes. ready to leave the 70s in the dust. Okay, we're going to go into the 80s. The this me gonna, the me decade. This That's is like, right. the, Eric's going to get all these for sure. I don't know. I. Oh. Uh, there's a couple on here. I th we'll see. I we'll see. I, like, you thought I was going to get all those ones. Well, yeah, I thought everyone... <laughs> <laughs> I thought yeah. Soap I thought might throw you guys. I wasn't sure if yeah. you guys would recognize that or not. I recognize the theme song. I've really right. watched the show. But, yeah, okay, but I figured is. everything else like... Again, I went like big... I didn't go like try to find like really random well, small shows. I clearly thought... clearly wasn't good enough for me. Yeah. Go. I'm ready. I'm pumped. I'm doing it. Five out of five in the 80s. Let's go. Let's do it. All right. Here we go. Ready? Yep. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. Ready? First song of the 80s starts now. I'm ready. Oh, my God. It could be two different shows. But I don't think no. one of them was in the 80s. Hint. It's not Survivor. Eric... Eric's thinking what I'm thinking. It could be two different shows. You have to play it again. I'll play it yeah, again. Yeah, put one more time. Go. Let everyone I got to get the decade right. I think I know it. Okay. I'm confident with my answer. My first answer was... The wrong decade, right? No, it was the right decade. Oh. Oh, my God. Now I just still don't know. I, I'm actually really confused between my two answers now that I keep this listening. This is the one I'm like, this is... Uh, yeah, this is one I'm like, this is a little tough one. I, just I know you guys 100% will know the show. I just don't know if the one show I'm thinking of was in the 80s. I'm picturing the, the intro, and I'm confident I have the right answer, I think. Okay. Okay. I might be oh, too... Oh, God All right, damn right. it. Do you have, have you written down something, Kel? Uh, what, could you imagine if... Okay, what I'm going to do, because I want to see if I'm my two, ans my two answers I'm thinking of aren't even any of them, I'm going to write down on the bottom what I thought my second answer was, but the big yeah. writing is my answer. Okay. Okay, so hang on. Kelly's writing something else down here for everyone listening. I crossed out my original answer so we can read it, my first guess, but my real answer is ready to go. All right, Kelly's I can't still. I am so embarrassed if this isn't any of them. Okay, go. Okay. All right, three, two, one. Let's see what you guys got. I put coach. coach? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, you guys had it backwards. So I, I, I crossed out major dad at first. I yes. know, but I was coach in the 80s. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Was Major Dad in the 80s? Yeah. yeah. So I just was did, it yeah. Major Dad? No, it was Coach. Oh, oh. son of a bitch. <laughs> as soon as I heard like the, the, the band, the marching band going, yeah. I'm like, oh, that sounds kind of like Major Dad. But then I was like, no, I'm picturing like no. the, 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 the trophy shelf. And it goes like through those memorabilia. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm like, no, it's Coach. <laughs> <laughs> no. It was tough. So did you get that wrong? But that was my real guess. But I didn't think she that She thought that was it was Coach, but then oh. picked Major Dad instead. Do I get 0.5 for that? I'll no, give you a hand. Don't I don't want nobody to give me nothing. All right. I want to earn it myself. All right, earn it. Earn it and burn oh, it. That was so annoying. That was that was a tricky one. That was close. That's a tough one. I know. Uh, I was like, oh, I'll put that one in. It's it what's was the a, major it was a, dad theme now. I don't know to be honest. I feel like to, it was still the, the same major patriotic dad. feeling. <laughs> okay, go. Busting skulls. That's right. No, but I that used was to a, love coach, but don't like Craig T. Nelson. Sorry. That's right. You had an incident with him. I had a bad incident with him. Or so. not. And that sounds a little ominous. <laughs> did, 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 did he sell you a house that was on top of a <laughs> Indian burial ground? He was just a very rude celebrity to meet in the wild. That's all I'll say. Maybe you were oh. having a bad day. I understand. Maybe. But I'm just going to tell you that this was like over 20 years ago. And I still am bitter about it. Just saying. 
Kelly forgives, she never forgets. That's right, Craig T. Nelson. All right, you guys ready to go into song number two yes. from yes. the 80s? Yes. Oh, I'm so exhausted right now. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, and one. Oh, my God. Oh, I know this one. <laughs> Shout out to our friend Kevin. That's right. What is Kevin putting ketchup on? I have the worst I'm going to hit play again just because that's such a great song. That's amazing. Things are getting steamy when this came on. <laughs> I had to go to bed. There was a reason why <laughs> when this show came on. A John Laren cat. Bad man. He's too All crazy. Right. Ready? I just spoiled yeah. it. Three, two, one. Yes, Night Court. You guys both got it right. Yay. Good job. Nice. Do you know that these have I'm impressed you didn't call it like Evening Court or Shut e up. Evening Shade. It's a court show. I know that. <laughs> Okay. That was a great show, yes. And shout out to our friend Kevin. What is yes. Kevin putting ketchup on? He does on Instagram. He, he sings a mean night court. He can bust I that can, out at the drop of a hat. I can feel the comeback coming. You can feel it. Are you like Corey Feldman? I the comeback the comeback kid. Call, as Billy Joel sang. I can feel it calling in the air tonight. I still don't know what he's calling, you, and I'm pissed and it's, off. And it's also coming, not calling in the air. Oh. <laughs> and you know it was Phil Collins, right? You're just, you're just putting this on there? Okay. I mean, I knew it wasn't Billy Joel, but I forgot the Phil Collins guy's name. Poor but Phil Collins. Is it really calling, not coming? I feel like coming in the air tonight. And that's what I said. What's coming? And then I'm like, good. And then you guys dashed my hopes and said it was a sad song. And I'm like, why is it so peppy? I don't understand. Because Phil Collins is a hit machine. That's what yeah. he does. He writes bangers. Do you guys know how exhausted I am right now? My brain hurts. Um, <laughs> my brain hurts probably for different reasons. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. All right, here we go. Ready? Yes. Song number three. This, this one, will be, I'm curious. Oh, son of a bitch. I don't know if you, uh, I don't know. We'll see what's going to happen here. I'm ready. I'm ready for All this. Right, here we go. Ready? Yep. Song number three from the 80s. Eric's writing it down quick. I know that. No, I know. Yeah, here, I'll play it again for you. Was it a kid show? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. Family show. Definitely a family show. If you guys could see the hamster in my head going, yeah, I don't know. it's a tough one. It's uh, this even, one was a little tricky. Yeah, like even like listeners are like, oh yeah, I forgot it, but I don't know if I would know this one if I was in your seat. I don't know if I would have recognized it. Do or I not. have to write something? Take a guess. Take a stab. Do, 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 do I hint? No, I don't want your dirty <laughs> hint. <laughs> Good because I'll screw. I'll script anyways. Um, I'll give it. Had, it start. It had Max Casella in it, who also played Benny on The Sopranos. Whoa. And was in Newsies. Oh, I know this now. I totally know this now. Really? Yes. After wow. <laughs> I don't know how to spell this it. This is some dirty play. I didn't This think is some that. dirty play. I thought it was being sneaky there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm getting hints later if I get stuck. <laughs> I don't know if I spelled it right. Okay, ready? All right, yeah. three, two, one, reveal. Yes! Doogie <laughs> Howser MD. That's right. I, yeah. did, I had no recollection that that was the the song at all. I've never heard that, as but as soon as he said the weird little dorky Max kid, Casella. I didn't his, think his, his little buddy. Yeah, I didn't think you would know who that you know, was. Sometimes you underestimate me. That's right. He was, I, I'm really disappointed because we'll, we'll never know what you're going to write. I wasn't going to I literally had nothing in my brain. Shout out to Max Casella. He was great on The Sopranos. Literally had nothing in my brain. Steve ruined that for you, Eric. Sorry. Thanks, thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> but as soon as that theme song came on, I just pictured like the little old IBM computer. Yeah, he's typing his like journal. That's, yeah, yeah. but I still deep thoughts by Doogie House. <laughs> I still don't recognize that thing, and I don't think I ever actually watched that show. To be honest, really, I knew of it, but I don't think it. Oh, Neil Patrick Harris, I love you. That's right, Neil yeah. Patrick Harris, Max Isella. Who was the dad? It was it James B. Skinny? No, that was. Um, Oh my god! If you know like the whole cast, that's super impressive. I'm trying to remember who the dad was. Is he only the bald? I think he I had need, a bald head. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to remember the actor. I think I name. need to go try and find it and watch that. I'm sure, I, it's, I'm sure it holds up. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> terrible. Oh my gosh! I cannot. But I am blown away by my own like ability to get that when you said because. After you were nudged and hinted and given extra but time, see, sure. Like there's no. But if you hadn't have said, I don't know why the name I didn't recognize, but you said Sopranos, and I still, and then you said. Newsies. Newsies, and I pictured the little dark haired. I was like, I don't that know. Was, I, My I, brain never underestimated it. It was impressive. Okay. My favorite newsie is Christian Bale. Am I winning now? <laughs> uh, no. Okay. Getting close. All right. All right. All right. 
You guys are getting close. Kelly, I can't believe you pulled that one off. I'm shocked. I was. I apologize, Eric. I shouldn't have given her a hint. <laughs> I, didn't, I, I, really didn't think, I didn't really think Max Costello would tip you off. <laughs> Dude, I don't, this, this show's hot garbage. I don't even know. Like, <laughs> I'm going to have to Fixed. watch the video back to see the my face because I think my face was like, what? Oh, I got it. Yeah, like, no. I I would, as soon as I write it down, I'm like, oh, shit. You weren't supposed to. Under- I thought you I, wouldn't get Max. I know. <laughs> <I don't>, <laughs> it's like. Yeah, I have yeah. no idea because I'm terrible at actors. I Are you no part of the idea. Max Casilla fan club? Who isn't? <laughs> I have no idea how I pulled that one out of my butt, but I did. No, that was a good job. All yeah. right, well, let's see if they can keep the streak going. Or are you gonna I gotta keep. Yourself? I gotta keep my lead here. All right, here yeah. we go. Ready? We're going for song number. Are we still in the eighties? Four. 80s? Yes. Okay. In the eighties. Here we go. Ready? Number yep. four. Why do you know these right away? Come on, they're awesome. Kelly's writing something down. Did you see my answer? When have I looked at his answer? <laughs> I think I've been cheating this whole time. I, I can't. If she is, she's not doing a great <laughs> job at it. Okay, ready? Yeah. Right, ready? Three, two, two one. one. Reveal your answers. Eric says 18. Shit. 18, Kelly baby. Says, G.I. <laughs> Joe. Oh, oh come <laughs> on. Know. Great show, but I've no. I've never no. seen the A-Team. I, I you ne- never watched you the never A-Team? Watch A-Team? My nephew got the little A-Team truck. And I the had van. To, I had to ask him if uh, Mr. T was good or bad. Like, I didn't know. That's hilarious. It's weird that he would Why have an A-Team like that? car. You don't know if Mr. T's good or bad? Is he good? I still don't know. He's good on the A-Team. He's bad in Rocky. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. Clever Lang. Oh, Steve, I hated him I, so much. <laughs> Steve, I He's really don't man. think that you made... Like, how, did you really think I was going to get the A-team? I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> did I care? Probably not. Are you accusing this quiz of being slanted you know in my what? favor? You guys need to teach me how to put this on the little boardy thing, and I'm going to do a quiz that you guys are both going to have sweaty oh, balls God. over. Oh, God. 100%. It's all going to be... What's that show... Gilmore the mo- the Girls. Mom- that, yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. The Gilmore Girls, the mom and the daughter that talk yeah. a lot. I went to trivia for Gilmore Girls and I kicked ass. Oh, yeah? Saying. Well, well, better than you're doing today, I guess. Yeah. I'll do a Friends trivia, Gilmore Girls trivia. Make can't, your balls be sweaty. Wait. Those sounds like fun. Yeah. All right, here we go. This is the last one from the 80s. Okay, I don't like Let's the 80s either. All right, ready? 90s, yep. I'm going to crush. Here we go. Ready? Do yes. It. The last song from the 80s. Well. Why are they all like fighty shows? Nothing, Cal. Oh no, I think I think I may know. Th- yeah. Oh no, I have two. Really? Play I, it again. I feel yeah. that your mom was probably your mom was Shh. probably. You're gonna give guy. me a hint. Oh my god, I don't know which one it is. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I don't know which one it is. Dun, 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 Kelly's thinking dun, I can see dun, she's got something. If I get this. I'll actually be impressed if you got this, because yeah. I don't think you will. Okay. I don't know, it's a huge show with a Kay. great theme song. Ready? Three, two, one, reveal. Magnum P.I. Son of a bitch. I was going to put Magnum <laughs> P.I., but I was like, when, what did you when put? Eric said did you put Miami Vice? Or yes. It is you did? Oh, Miami no. Vice. But I was, oh, no. I said I had two oh, shows. Oh, my God. I had Magnum P.I. Oh. and Miami Vice in my head. And I'm like, he Steve would put Miami Vice over Magnum P.I. I got one question for you. How does it feel to be so wrong? But I'm not. <laughs> I'm like 50% right. You're, get your hat. You need to figure out I how to get which one is the right one when you, you have two and you have two I, options. I'm going to tell you that. I thought your mom would have liked the show because she was thinking of, you know, mustache no, rides from Tom Selleck. But wait, <laughs> you threw me off. You, because when I was writing that and as soon as you said that, I was thinking of the guy in Miami Vice. So it's my fault you're wrong. Yes. <laughs> I thought because Eric said mustache. I was like, oh, maybe. He clearly. didn't say mustache when he said that. He just said your mom probably liked him. Oh, yeah. So who'd your mom like? I was thinking of the, who Philip was Michael in, Thomas or, uh, or Don Johnson? I was thinking like Don Johnson. I thought, didn't your mom like Chuck Norris? Well, no, my mom did like Tom Selleck, <laughs> but I don't know. So those kicking jeans. <laughs> I'm so mad. Next time I'm just writing both my answers down. <laughs> All right. Well, here's a chance for some redemption. Do your heart oh. feels. So that's the 80s done, right? That's the 80s done. What's so the, the score? score for now, Eric has five again so he's at perfect 10 right now el perfecto kelly has three and a half <laughs> so I'm, i could bomb this whole decade and i'll still i'm win. not gonna lie i actually thought it was gonna be better than that. okay but like three of them i knew yeah, yeah 
a bunch of them you knew or were close, but uh, I'm going with my gut instinct. Close next only time. counts. Trust your gut. And hand don't grenades. don't give dirty looks my way. <laughs> it's not my fault you got the wrong mustache. Well, the '80s did me dirty too, so bring on the '90s. All right, are we ready to go for the '90s? I'm exhausted. Yep. Here yep. we go. We're gonna go start with number one. Everyone at home, let us know how you guys did so far in the '70s and the '80s. What's your score so far out of ten? Anyone got perfect like Eric? Or are you guys like Kelly doing awful and embarrassing Shut yourself? Shut up. <laughs> I am trying very hard. I'm not good at quizzes. All right. Well, here we go. Ready, Ready. for the 90s? Yes. Ready. I think this is going to change everything. Okay. Really? Three, two, one. Here we go. I can just see the cockiness in Kelly's face. <laughs> no, but you have me second guessing it. <laughs> yeah. I, I think you're, I think your mom also of this show. 100% know this, but you have me second guessing myself. Oh, I just wanted to look in her face. <laughs> yes, I know this. <laughs> this is my jam. Did I look like that? I don't want to look like that. I'm, don't do the close up of me doing that. Oh, I'm editing this one. If I am, <laughs> I'm zooming right in on your face. <laughs> Super close up. We'll put a little replay in right now. <laughs> All right, Kelly's right now. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, reveal. SBTB, Saved by the Bell. Yes, you're the bell. both That's, right. There we go. If I didn't get that, I would just quit. I was like, if, there's no way you're going to guess this one wrong. Like, Well, it's like, yeah, there's, I mean, I guess anything is possible, but, yeah. you know, <laughs> I was like, it's very unlikely that. Uh, it's weird, though. I get, like, stage fright, and I'm like, no, I know this, but then I all of a sudden start second guessing myself. This is why I failed tests. I used to watch this in the morning, like, eating breakfast and stuff. Saturday morning. Yeah. Saturday morning, yeah, it was the best. Saturday morning cart TV was the best in this. Yeah, in the, uh, I was always rooting. TBS had reruns in the 2000s. I remember I was, that, yeah. yeah. I was always rooting for Zach and Kelly. They got they married. That damn Jeff. Yeah, but then they damn got married. Damn Jeff. Well, in Hawaii. That's right. I'm not going to lie, I didn't get that invested. I don't know who Jeff is. He was the guy that worked at the Max. Yeah, Whoa. and then he stole Kelly away That's from right. Zach. And they broke up at the prom and it was so sad. And they were just like Romeo and Julia, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, they were. Oh. <laughs> Heartbreak. <laughs> I need to do a whole like podcast and save by the bell. We should have put a loop in this and yeah. done, done the college years. Yeah. They, well, then it was that weird dorm advisor with the long curly ex football player guy. And Lila Lozondo. No, um, that was it. Yeah. I don't know who he, he was. He looks sort of like the, the bass player from Van Halen. <laughs> <laughs> uh oh. What is going on over there? She just dropped the eraser. I'm no. stiff, okay? I have sore legs. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. Ready to do the next yes. round? Yep, ready. Or next round, next song ready? Here we go. Wait, where do we go here? Yeah, ready? Three, two, and one. I know this one too. Steve made this decade easy. A great song. Let's do that one again. I just like to use these pads on this mixer. It's West pretty great, Philadelphia, huh? born and raised on the playground is where I spent most of my days. Chilling out, Max and relaxing, all cool. I was shooting some b-ball outside of school when a couple of guys, they were up to no good. Started making trouble in my neighborhood. I got in one little fight, my mom got scared, said you're moving with your auntie and uncle to Bel Air. Pulled up to a house about What's seven What's the floor crowd? When it came near, no. was the first there was dice in the air. If anything, I could say this crowd <laughs> camera's remember I thought, now I forget it. Yo, Holmes, Holmes the Bel Air! Very nice. Did you guys actually show your answers yet? I got oh, shoot. No. no, we just sang the theme song. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Fresh Prince of Bel Air, yes. I used to have the biggest crush on Will Smith. Uh, Will Smith. And like... now I don't like him because he slapped somebody for no reason on TV. Yeah, he kind of ruined his. He's going to be always remembered as, you know, as the guy that slapped Chris Rock. But I was, I went through a phase where I was obsessed with him. I, I would saw like Men in Black and he was in like, ooh, I used to love that Bad Boys movie. They're still making them. Didn't I know. they just one come out like recently on on uh I used Netflix? to love that movie. Didn't you have the uh the soundtrack to Wild Wild West? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I never saw that movie though. But no. I I loved Men in Black. I like Men in Black was movie. Those, like, that was just a wild guess. That was in some massive movies. Yeah. That was the know. Wild Wild West song, yeah. right? Yeah. Wild Wild West. Yeah. The Kumo Diver song. I made a remake of it. Steven, now I feel like you've just made it too easy. I can't win here. <laughs> oh absolute God. garbage for half this thing. Yeah, exactly. It's good, no, no, it's not too easy. It's just that I peaked in the '90s. Well, no, I, yeah, like I said, I stuck to like big, <laughs> I'm kidding. big it's shows. Fine. So, let's all right. see if you can finish strong, big talker. Yeah, no okay. kidding. Next gonna, time, yeah. Kelly's going to be making this. Five stuff. out of five on this one. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. Song number three. Oh, if that one part wasn't in it, I don't think I would have got it. I. Try to, yeah. I don't think I would have got it. I was so confused at first. 
I could see her face. Yeah. Like, oh, she's gonna... I was like, oh, she might blow this one. My parents... Another, this is a massive show, too. Oh, yeah. My parents were obsessed. I think this was aimed right at our parents. Oh, 100% much. right. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Home, Home improvement. improvement. That's right. But if you didn't have that little... Well, I couldn't cut it. That I was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they really they found a way to for Tim Allen to work his little catchphrase in the theme song. Because I'm telling uh? you, I didn't recognize that at all. I was like, "What is this?" No, that was yeah. Uh? 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 That was when like all three of those kids had their like three names. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, and then uh, uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas, Thomas became that was like it. a B movie actor for like five years. Yeah. Yeah, he just like completely just like did. I think he just left the They all just left the industry. Well didn't The, the oldest one, brother I think's been in a little bit. I was of gonna say I, yeah. thought, I swear I just saw Some recently he was uh, in the cop car or something like recently. Yeah. Like, yeah. Within like the last couple of months I think I saw something about that. And I think the youngest one like got all, okay, I shouldn't say weird. Didn't he marry like, like a like older a really woman older woman? Like a woman that was like in her fifties when he was like Yeah. In mean, his like early twenties or yeah. something like that. I mean or? do you, but whatever. Oh, it's hard. I mean, that sometimes it just shows, like, you know, it's a... Gr- I, I've heard a lot of someone's good things about Tim Allen. I heard he's a mm-hmm. douche. I heard he's a massive... I will yeah, say that. I was trying to think who... On one of his recent movies, some, like, someone was saying it was just... Yeah, it was awful. Just a disaster? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was one of the new... Santa- did they redo the Santa... The new Santa Claus, I think it was. Was he in oh. it? Yeah, one that came, like, the one oh. that came out, like, was a year or two ago or something. But, I didn't yeah, even but, know there was one. Or there's something like that. I don't anyway, know. but I heard but he's a way, douche. But I heard that, yeah, it sounded like he was not fun to work with at all no whenever i think of it, i think of the the simpsons like parody <laughs> you killed wilson oh, oh back to jail for me yeah that's right that <laughs> yeah, was i remember yeah. that was a whole big thing with wilson you couldn't see his face and stuff yeah. like that uh, so tim allen like supercharged his oh, lawnmower and he, brings, yeah. he backs yeah, up over over, yeah, over yeah, wilson through the fence <laughs> i thought you were talking about the ball in tom cruise movie Oh, that's right. Yeah, no, Castaway. Castaway. Wilson. Oh, Castaway. Oh, no, no, no different Wilson. <laughs> Wilson, the, the neighbor. Yeah. Okay. And so then, that was... fun fact, that's where Pamela Anderson, the wonderful Canadian she is, that's got right. her start. That's right. Yeah. Tool time. She was that's the first, right. um, tool time. uh, was the, the tool company? Uh, Bin, Binford. Tool man Taylor. She was the first, uh, like, Binford tool time. Oh, that's Wait, right. I'm yeah. confused. Was it his company or he was just on the TV show? It was his TV show. He okay. was the host. He was basically like a. He Bob. was like Brian Baumler. Yeah, basically, exactly. Yeah, Canadian do DIY or what's what was Mike Holmes? Mike yeah. Holmes, Brian okay. Baumler, uh, Bob Vila. Oh, Bob Vila, I remember him. This he actually house, appeared yeah. in that show. That's yeah. right, I remember that. Yeah. Yeah. Guest kind appearance. Of like, yeah. My parents were obsessed with that show. Yeah, that show was huge. I, I think know. I only probably watched it because like we only had the one TV in the house. My parents watched it. That's yeah. Back in the day, yeah, one TV you kind of dictated what you watched That's based it. on who was at home and who had the yeah. remote. Are we? Is this the last one? Or we we got two more to go. Okay. <sighs> I'm getting gonna, stressed. I'm getting sweaty. I, I need to get perfect on this. I, 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 I'm at risk of losing my perfect record here. All right, here we go. Yeah. Ready for song number four from the 1990s? Okay. Oh, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> clap, 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 clap. Kelly's writing furiously. I love. You're I'm writing a lot of words. Show. Are you sure it's right? Yeah, I don't ready? know if it's right. Yeah, three, two, one, reveal. I even did it in the proper way. Okay? Wow. Oh, with the little dots That's between right. the letters. Fancy. Very cool. This is my show. I know everything there is to know about friends. Everything? R.I.P. Matthew Perry. I'm so sad. Crazy oh. going on. That news, the, I, all those arrests going on right okay, now. Okay, so. Celebrity deaths, like there's always that one where you're kind of like, ooh, that's sucky yeah. or whatever. But Matthew Perry, it was funny because all of us were at the same party because it was a Halloween party. I remember and that. Oh, yeah. Oh, it really ruined the party. Sh- <laughs> and I was on the f- my phone because I was standing by myself being a party loser. And I was scrolling and I'm like, TMZ alert? Matthew Perry died? And I was like, what? I literally actually felt like I wanted to cry and I have no idea why. I remember right before that, I was like, nothing is going to ruin this night. This is the greatest <laughs> night ever. And then because like, Matthew Perry died, I was like... Uh, ah, <laughs> it's sad. I think it was just really sad because obviously his character on Friends, like people loved it. Yeah. He seemed like a genuinely like good guy, but he just he's had Canadian, so many. So solid. But he yeah. just had so many demons, and it was yeah. like yeah, it, no, you felt like he was overcoming them, and then you know just well, now it's all crazy. It's super sad. Well, because that was the thing, because like you know, you obviously, but like because yeah, in the last few years, you know, he seemed a lot talk about recovery and all this stuff. So yeah. yeah, it seemed like he was on a good path, and then but, yeah, no, it was yeah. sad. Yeah, really sad. Ugh. But it's not. It's 
nice. To, it's nice to see there's some people actually. Well, I think being a lot of accountable these, for being involved. In I this mean, shit. ultimately, like you know, I, I'm just whatever speaking my feelings, but ultimately, like you know, people who have addictions and stuff, like they're the ones that are taking the stuff. Like you know, you can't pass the blame on anybody else other than you're the one taking the stuff. Yeah, yeah. But, I think there needs, it's like the Michael Jackson doctor, there needs to be some consequences for doctors yeah. or healthcare people or just anybody who just the good old mighty dollar speaks and they just do things unethically. Yeah. No, no. For that, some of these enablers. Yeah, well, that, exactly, so, no yeah, you should be charged. Yeah, no, I mean, exactly, yeah. That's Because there's many people that are rich and famous, they have a lot of money and people will do whatever they want. That's not, Well, like you know. in one of the sidebar, but in like one of the text messages that have been released in the legal documents, it's the one guy who was like, how much do you think this moron will give us like really? talking to each other oh you didn't yeah. know that no no so they were texting each other i don't know if it was the doctor the deal whoever they were texting yeah. each other and they literally said um how much do you think this moron will pay us oh my god yeah i know and they're callous you know that's yeah. the thing they There's really they and they knew like somebody just who's like leeches they're just vampires well somebody who's in a vulnerable state who's literally desperate because Ooh, yeah. they're addicted and it's like they have the means well, yeah and, they'll pay you 10 grand and that's that's the pro. The, that's the scary part for yeah. some, because it's not only that they're also they have the means to pay for yeah. this stuff yeah. too, right? Like it's not like they're yeah. destitute, the street, where, yeah. but they have the money to pay for anything and everything. So, so it's, it's just really guy. sad. It's sad that he, yeah. you know, but it's just sad that the people around him were not good people. No, and no. that's you need to, and that's you know a lot of times you know kind of hear that story a lot of times in hollywood mm -hmm. you gotta well, look at same thing that happened people well same thing that happened to michael, michael jackson he just kept going to people and finally found somebody who would do what he wanted yep. yeah and so those someone people, says yes and those people just have their people and it's just mm -hmm. next yeah. you get a bunch yeah. of yes men around that'll do anything they want for the money yeah so yeah. it's sad but i have his book i still haven't read it I'm, I'm actually like it's gonna sound lame but i'm actually like a little like a, like nervous to read i feel like i might cry yeah no, there's always that one slit. You know, there's always... Because, like, his book had just come out. Like, it was a yeah. thing. Oh, just yeah. sad. And honestly, it was really sad. Like, all of, like, the other five castmates, like, talking about it. It was just really sad. Because, again, like, we just see what we see on TV. But, like, they all say, like, you know, 30 years later. And they're, they may not be best friends now where they, like, talk all the time. Yeah. But they get together and it's, like, nothing's changed. It's like old times, yeah. yeah. So, anyway. All right, on this cheery note. <laughs> is this, this the is last it, This is the last song. Okay. Of the uh, this is it, last song of the nineties, last song of the quiz. Please don't let me fail this one. Song five from the nineties, song fifteen from the quiz. I'm writing them fifteen songs. Damn. Yeah. Here we go. Ready? Yeah. This is it. I figured this would be speak to both of you. I was gonna say you did this mostly for Eric, didn't you? Oh my god, I wanna watch this show now. Okay, ready? Three, two, one. Dawson's Creek. That's correct. <laughs> Eric is so embarrassed right now because he knows <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna call him. I'm them. a little ashamed that I know this one. <laughs> no, you're not. Can you even reach the end? Fun fact, Eric was obsessed with Dawson's Creek. Okay, he says it's I because he had a crush on Katie I, Holmes. Back in the day I thought Katie Holmes was beautiful <laughs> oh, really that's creepy no katie holmes was very cute i, I yeah. mean you know i can admire a beautiful woman but i'm just saying eric it, 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 it was really the teen drama that got him it's true i got wrapped i in. think he got oh, wrapped boy. into small the whole, town uh, teen oh. drama pacey and joey and pacey and joey and pacey and the, <laughs> Wait, the, the, the teacher okay and... you all watch oh yeah that was scandalous it was Mrs. scandalous T? yeah Oof, what scandalous. happened he slept with the teacher in like grade nine you didn't yeah. know that uh Steve clearly wasn't a Dawson's Creek fan. I think I, I don't know. I, um, yeah, okay, I but sure. really, the, the Dawson memes are amazing. The, the yeah. meme crying, crying, yeah. and that's when he lets Joey go. Yeah, go, go, be with him. Go. Um, but were you? I was always Team Pacey. Ooh. F Dawson. Dawson is the worst character in the history of TV characters. From what I've seen, he always seemed really whiny and like yeah. uh, pretentious. And Dude. He wanted to be a filmmaker, yeah. Or right? Yeah, you seem very. Uh, but it's filmmaker. not that. It's the whole assumption that because him and Joey grew up together and they were like best friends when they were like four, that, that she belonged to him. It and was no matter destiny. what, no. But like, okay, maybe like, but like she said, I think at one point they're like, you know, we can be soulmates, but like like best friend soulmates like you could be the you could be my person but we're not supposed to be like together that's the ultimate friend zone yeah no but we're like, soulmates but friends it's just, only. it was just the like arrogance of him assuming she would always just be there for like be with him Ugh, gross and then she went with pacey, pacey was a lot better for her J dawson just brought her down i could do a whole podcast on dawson's creek but that's not that's more millennial not gen x that's, yeah but anyway good show 
Good job. Yeah, you guys want final scores here? Yeah, let's hear some final scores. Kelly. I came back. Perfect round. Yeah, you got a perfect a round. Perfect and round. the 90s I got told them all. you, 90s, yeah. I'd crush it. So you got five, is eight, eight and a half out of 15. Very good. What percent is that? I think um, it passed. It's like 60. Yeah, it's like, yeah, just over 50%. Hey, yeah, I with passed. Like with yeah. In there, yeah. It's all I just got to sca- scrape by and you get moved up to the next level. That's what I did in school. <laughs> that's, that's all that's I Kelly's did. Motto. You just had to that's get that fifty-one percent. Everyone, everyone gets that same piece of paper in the end when they get eighties or seventies yeah. or sixties. As long as you get past that, as long as you pass, everyone gets the same. All piece you of had paper the, 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 the diploma doesn't have a grade on when it. When we that's were right. in school, all we had to get was fifty-one. In high school, I remember college was sixty. I got nervous. That's right. Yeah, I know. I was like, what? the bigs. Yeah. yeah I was like, what the hell are they doing here? <laughs> anyway, what did Eric get? Eric stomped a mud hole and he walked it dry. Eric Woo! went fifteen for fifteen. He perfect record. Oh my God, Enrico El Perfecto. That's right. Now you don't want to see that. It's embarrassing. Get, that Get it out of here. I would have framed that, actually. That's beautiful. <laughs> That's a big uh, beauty. Okay, but, uh, look, okay, think of it this way. Is it really that sweet of a win you were playing against me? Yeah, it kind of, <laughs> it kind of like muddies my my victory a little bit. See, uh, exactly, it, it wasn't spoils like, it a lot. It wasn't actually. like you were playing against Steve, where it was more even playing field. No, it's like. But wait, three of them or two of them? I like no. Three of them, I like There's knew. There's three or four of them that you but knew. But I mixed but, it up. Yeah. <sighs> so you could have had, what, like 11? I still would have <laughs> destroyed you. Yeah, but I would have been closer. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess so. You know, closer counts in. I want to play another. Horseshoes. That's it. That's right. These games are fun. I hope they're yeah, fun that was a lot. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching that. I hope it's fun to do. We should definitely do some more. We'll show you guys. Kelly, you've been trash talking. We'll show you how to load up the board. Well, I'm going to make it so, so damn hard. you can hard. find whatever songs you want or I'm whatever. Gonna do and, uh, it so let's just script the board so it's all sledgehammer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm going to do it so hard. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Kind of just break the board. Probably. I will. What are you going to do? I'm not going to. Well, I don't know. Whatever category I picked, I'm going to make it so hard that you guys aren't even going to know. Oh, really? If you guys have any suggestions at home, yeah. let us know. Drop yeah. a comment and send us a message. We're on Instagram. We're at yeah. Janet's Unfiltered on all platforms. We are. All right. We are. All right. So, call. yeah, like Steve said, comment below. Give us any suggestions for any other quiz type podcasts or just any podcast in general. Yeah, we always we're like always hearing open from you guys. Suggestion. We're out of ideas now. Yeah. <laughs> now I am going to let Eric gloat. I'm going to eat oh my boy. lumps. I'm going to go and sleep easy tonight because yeah, you beat I'm walking me? home with a victory. Because <laughs> you beat me, Eric. Well, I, did, I didn't just beat you. Like Steve said, I stopped a mud hole in your ass. Yeah, okay. well. If the roles were reversed, Kelly would not be. Oh, yeah. She would not be kind. No, She'd be like, yeah. she'd be like <laughs> I win, you lose, man, we win. That, I don't, that, that'd be you. I don't, yeah. I don't win it much in life, Eric. Oh, I here we go. Here's the, sad, here's the sob story. You know, you're, you're a Kelly. definition of a bad winner. I've seen you win. It's not pretty. You're a bad winner. Because I never loser. win. I have to <laughs> celebrate it. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Fist bump it out. Fine. There we go. Good job, everybody. Yeah. Good job, Quizmaster. It's supposed to be fun. It was. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> All right. Good. All right, guys. Thank you so very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next Take one. Take care, everybody. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. See you in the next one. Let's play something random. Play us okay. out. Okay. Oh, I turned the volume down. There we go. West Philadelphia, born and raised in the playground of most of my days. Right. All right, bye everybody. Bye. Bye.